Hey, what's going on everybody? Just got an alert that the Wise has a new software update that allows for map editing so you can actually make rooms now. Whereas in my last video, that was one of the complaints I had that you could not separate the rooms. So let's go ahead and check out how you do that. I haven't even updated the firmware yet. So let's go ahead and do that. 1.6.75 is what I had on the prior video you've seen. And now 1.6.97 is the newest, which adds that. Let's go ahead and see what else is new real quick. So room editing. So really that's kind of the only major thing, which is a pretty major thing. So let's go to an update. Starting to update. All right, guys, update success. All right, cool. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and reset the map because it's going to be needed anyways. And I will re run this tomorrow and I will show you after it runs. All right, everybody. So as you can see, Wise had a software update and I've reset the map, so I'm gonna do a quick run of this in a portion of my floor plan and see if I can't separate basically three rooms, whereas I could not do that in my previous video last week. So I'm simply gonna send this guy out. Once it's done, it should have a little map and I should be able to dedicate the rooms. And while we're in this video, we're gonna go ahead and test out the no-go zones and see how well that works as well. All right, we got LiDAR dude up and ready. So you can see I have no map, so I'm going to send this guy out cleaning. Starting cleaning. And since this is just a little simple run, I am going to put it on quiet mode. And then once the map is updated, we'll just switch back to my phone and I will show you exactly how well it does. And hopefully we can label the rooms very easily and quickly and we'll do a no-go zone test. If you're new, please do me a favor, like and subscribe. It helps me out more than you know. And let me know any other tests you'd like to see with this guy or any of my other robots or upright vacuums. Another thing I was gonna think about doing, guys, and of course all of you would want it. Since I bought the i6 Plus, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway when I hit 10,000 subs of my old i7 Plus. Still works perfectly fine, but I just don't need two of them. So that's something that might be coming up soon. Uh, it is a big giveaway. It would be only to people in the United States just because of shipping purposes. And that's just a thought I have, either that or some other kind of giveaway for hitting 10,000 subs, which is gonna be pretty awesome for me. It's gonna be a cool day when that happens. So help me out right now if you don't mind. Smash that subscription button. All right, everybody, LiDAR Dude is done with that cleaning run. It took 41 minutes total, 357 square feet, and 40% battery life on lowest power. So as you can see, this is the new map and made. As you can see here, it looks a little odd. That's only because my computer chair was forward and I moved it back. So that looks a little bit odd, but that's my fault, so don't blame it for that. And let's go ahead and see if we can edit this map. So initially I thought we would do everything on this front page of the app, but you don't. There's something new in the settings called Map Editor. This is from that update. I haven't messed with this yet, so we're gonna do this together. And as you can see, without this new update, it would have only said Room 1 and that's it. You couldn't have done anything with that. So let's go ahead and click on Room 1. We're going to split it. We're gonna do it about there. Okay, we're gonna do that as one room. Okay, see how it's separated for us? So room one, now we have room two. So we're gonna click on that, split it once again, and we're gonna Do 
do that. Okay. Awesome. So I'm glad to say this is very, very easy to use so far. Happy to say this new update so far is really good. I'm impressed that they rolled it out so quickly because this is a new robot. You think they would have had that already in the robot whenever they sent it out for the first batch, but they didn't. But they went ahead and got it taken care of pretty quickly, and that makes me happy. So let's go ahead and edit the room names if possible. So you click on room one, rename. We're going to name this office. We're going to name this entryway. And we're just going to name this one Den. So there we have it. Very cool. That was extremely, extremely easy to do, which makes me happy. And we're now we're going to go back and we're going to add a couple of no-go zones. And I'll just do, for the sake of time on this test, I will do the office and we'll just add a couple of small basically corners and see if it avoids it altogether. So you go back to the main front page of the app basically and see how it changed now which is very cool and you click this little button on the right you can add a virtual wall anywhere you want. We're going to try to resize this. And why don't we just do something simple for this test. Let's tell it to not go in this corner. I'll throw a little bit of debris over here, and we'll see how well it does with actually missing this entire corner. So we'll do that there, and we will also go ahead and do another one, just for good measure, over here. And I'll throw down some fruity pebbles in both these red areas. And when it's done, we should have basically a couple of squares of fruity pebbles. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit clean. And that should pull up a separate button now asking what areas we want to clean. Actually, I take that back. That's what some robots do and some don't. This one, you click on which area you want to clean. So we're just going to do the office. I'm going to tell it to go ahead and clean. I'm going to throw down some fruity pebbles. All right, so as you can see, office, entryway, den. We have office highlighted. You can see the red no-go zones. And we're going to send it out to go ahead and clean only the office. And we'll see if it avoids those two areas. I apologize, everybody. I thought I was recording. And of course, for whatever reason, it was not. So what I did... Let me show you real quick. I sent out the Ys for just the office area, and you can see those two red no-go zones. And I laid out a bunch of fruity pebbles to see if it was going to obey the no-go zones, basically. And as you can see, it is so far. This thing always starts with a perimeter check, and it stopped right there and went around the no-go zone and came over and did the same thing here. So it appears the no-go zone is gonna be working just fine. I'll let this guy finish the test and then we'll see exactly how well it does. So in my honest opinion, for 249 or less, this is probably gonna be the best robot vacuum you can buy, period. I've always recommended the random navigation robots for that price or less, but why? This thing, this thing can map it all, now you can edit the rooms, you can tell it to go clean a room, you can add no-go zones, you can map an entire floor plan, and that's one thing random navigation robots cannot do at all, and they will never be able to do. Another thing random navigation robots cannot do is a large floor plan. This does it with no problem, as all LiDAR-based or camera-based robots can do. So I must say, I'm definitely more impressed with this guy than I initially thought. For 200 bucks, it's it's a no-brainer. They should sell these like crazy. Now I will say, it does not clean as good 
as a robo rack but once again you're talking about a hundred to two hundred dollars plus more to get yourself a robo rack and the difference is i don't know if it's significant enough to spend an extra two hundred dollars however with saying that with me testing all these robot vacuums i personally would still pick a robo rack over this guy but if your budget is 250 or less this is a this is a really good robot vacuum let me know down in the comments if you guys agree, if you guys are happy to see this update already. I think they rolled this out really quickly and it looks to work perfectly. All right guys, as you can see, the no-go zones work perfectly. I like this robot so much more now and I wanna know what you guys think now about it. For $200, what I paid, even 250, I think it's a no-brainer. If this is what you can afford, this is your budget, I'd say jump all over it. It's so far been a very, very good robot vacuum. Sure, it's not quite as good as a higher competition, but for what you pay, it's really, really quite good. So I'd say I'm very happy with this guy. And I definitely highly recommend it. Thanks for watching this video and have yourselves an awesome day. See ya.